sound recording. Can't hear us anyway. This is yelling. And Kevin, what? what? Me? You do it. Ah oh, no. Yeah. Welcome to Toy Geeks uh, behind on, the camera. Do, oh, do it right. Do it right. Welcome to Toy Geeks behind the camera. Is that what we do? Yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm Kevin. I oh, got to do it. You do. Hey, welcome to Toy Geeks Behind the Counter. I'm Dove. I'm Kevin. I'm Ben. I'm Jack. Did I just do an intro? You yes. did the intro. You did this intro. <laughs> Bravo. Wow. Bravo. I couldn't do it. I, I haven't been on here enough. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a, the official Comic Con review. This episode. is the post Comic Con episode, everyone. Recap. So, ben, Recap. How was the show for you? Uh. It was it was actually very good. Sale wise, yeah. it was very good. We were uh, in a new location. You were there. I was there. I was and, there, and uh, I liked it a lot. It was good. How how did you do, Kev? Sold very well. Okay. I made a lot of money. Jack, how, did you sell a lot? I didn't have a booth. So oh, okay. No. Dub, did you sell a lot? <laughs> we did. It was really good. Uh, the location <coughs> was really nice. We're in the middle of the room now, like we're on this huge aisle right across from Marvel, and I think. I think we got a lot of new faces this year. Yeah. We did. I, I think, think so. I think you're right. I think there's a lot of regular customers that couldn't get into the room, mm -hmm. and then we're selling mm -hmm. stuff to people I've never seen before. Nice. Like, who are you? You know, yeah. Yeah. just buying stuff. Like, okay. and what is this? Yeah, <laughs> they, they couldn't they, get in because they couldn't get badges. You mean? I think yeah. it's getting yeah. harder. I mean, what I know is it getting it, harder. Really? It's been hard. It's been getting harder for years. Yeah. I mean, I noticed that I unfortunately like people like me uh, are aging out of the show. And oh. <laughs> less and less in the show is a, is like appealing to me. Mm -hmm. I'm I used to come home like when I was 16, I would come home with a car full of oh, stuff. Man. Yeah, and then I there, that. under the under the uh, table, you know, there's something that was always called the Dove Box, and yeah. people would give me stuff. I'd buy stuff, and there'd always be all this stuff. And this year, like I got a, some stuff from Super Seven, and then I got a few books. And that was it. And that was it. Like it's so, so is that what we're going to talk about? No, we're going to talk about all the junk that you bought. Oh, oh. mostly Ben. Mostly no. Ben. Well, <laughs> why don't why don't we start with you, Kevin? What did you get? Because you you roam. I think out of all of us, well, actually maybe Jack does, but I think you roam the hall in terms of yeah. buying stuff the most. I, I did not roam the hall. Dude, I had what my are you booth. talking about? I'm sitting in my booth and I just see Kevin just walking back and forth <laughs> really? all day. I'm like, Kevin! He doesn't hear me. Yeah, all. and you're like, you'll come by with like three, four bags and you're like, but here, I got you this. <laughs> did you want that? Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah, but I got my booth. I got my people all over the show. Yeah. But I, I was managing so how booth. So how much stuff did you buy? Did you buy loads of stuff? Uh, Let's see what you bought. Well, whip it out. Let's go. Well, right, actually, let's stay, start with Ben. No, I want to see what you no, bought. No, we want to see what you got. Well, I have a. Th well, this year, M Mattel was really good. Yeah. But I didn't have a lot of Mattel to show because I sold them all. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta understand what I do. Oh. <laughs> and not everything's for me. But all right, let's start with me. I, I, so I right. think Victoria just put a picture of a dolphin yeah. <laughs> going by the screen. But but His Mattel was really Pepper. hot. He man He man was really hot. He man was really hot. He man was really hot. Turtles Mattel were really, really hot, hot this year. Turtles were really hot. So the thing is, uh, I have this feeling: all the things you're telling us are hot, aren't the things you're going to show us? Right well, now. George took most of them home, and he, unfortunately, he's not here today. Okay. He took all the turtle stuff home with okay. him. Yeah, the uh, ne the Neca set was one of the right. hottest sellers right. during the show. The Super was, Seven piece of set. Yeah, that well. was a big seller. Right. Uh, but what I got, I have something. So Nike decided to drop something with bait. In so wait a minute, out of all the things at Comic-Con you're well, going to talk about Well, I'm showing you what shoes? I got for me. I'm going to show you what I got. Let's see it. <laughs> all right. So Nike decided to drop something with Go Stranger check. Things. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. You have to do a citywide hunt. Like a scavenger, scavenger hunt? Scavenger hunt. All right. So... I did not participate in the scavenger hunt. I have someone else do it for me. I love how you just admit <laughs> but, that you yeah. went around the system. But can I ask you something about Nike yeah. shoes? And because I don't know about like sneaker collectibles, like do collectors care about like the condition of the box? They like do. Star Wars collectors. Yeah, they do. But like, would they look at this little the, dent? Not here? that, but they won't. They will care if there's a tear on there. They will care if there's I a mm. that half of the thing is damaged. Now this is really cool. <laughs> it looks like the Stranger Things. Uh, title, right? Yeah, the, yeah. The yeah. Nike. So they already dropped two regular. Is drops. this our official first shoe that we're doing on Toy Geeks? It might is be. it? All right. I so, think so. But what's cool about it is you have to go to three different locations, get the magnet, 
and then you get scanned on your phone, uh -huh. and then you wait after a couple hours, you get the phone, you get the shoe on your phone. Yeah. And then you go pick up at night a bait. Which you did not do any of that. I did, I went to the final location. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had a good part. I, had to, I went to the final location. Dessert without any of the work. <laughs> I went to the final location and uh, and did that. But so whatever, what do they look like? like? They're really cool, you get that Stranger Things Nike. Nice, that looks right Star Court. So, Oh, it's a floor plan. Oh, there's a floor court. plan of Star Court. Right, there's a floor plan. I oh, love the cool. packaging. This this whole so it's just a plain white shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this looks like it'll get dirty like the first day you wear it, and then. What are you? It's a plain white shoe. So disclaimer: this, not a sneakerhead. So this shoe has another layer under it. Uh huh. You can burn it, and it'll reveal a lot of. What's you're supposed to set fire to your yeah. shoe? Yeah, you're supposed to and set fire. you got a lighter? I, well, we're not doing that. Uh, or you can cut this layer off, and you'll see the designs. It's so the you can't even see the shoe design unless you... We'll put a photos up, like what people have done to them after. But And they, ha they come with pins. Uh, can I, ex can I explain pins? to you like what a hypocrite I am? See, I think it's totally normal to buy a toy and leave it mint in its box and be like, ooh, the toy is in the box. Right? Well, yeah, of course. But buying a pair of shoes and then like not wearing it and keeping it in the box seems so dumb to me. Yep. I'm right. such a hypocrite. I know. But I'll just tell you this. This is $120. Keep your comments to yourself. This is $120. First pair sold right after Comic-Con. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? During com 900 bucks. <laughs> and that was one of Kevin's, by the way. No, I didn't. I wish it was me. Wow. I what are they but selling for now? This. Let me see uh, this. As of taping right now, at about 400. Like on StockX or? Yeah. Okay. Burn it. So we thought we had gotten rid of the just in so voice, but it's back. <laughs> I, I have gotten the past collect collections. I've also gotten the. Uh, the ones they dropped right before Comic Con. So is this some just a personal question? Is this something you would keep? Hold on, for that's for myself. So, so <laughs> and then do you wear this or do you just no, keep it? I, no. What I have shoe pair. is this, Kevin? This is the Tailwind seventy nine Nike Tail Air Tailwind. Oh, no, he means like what number shoe is this for you in your collection? No, no, I meant that. I mean, no, I, kind that's of what I meant. Right. <laughs> and also, so this is the Stranger like Things. A thousand. It's really cool. How, I love it. How many brand new pairs of mint shoes in the box? Do About five hundred pairs. Wow. Wow. How many we can't toys? say anything. Star Wars. Toys. How, many, yeah. how many toys do we have? So what else did you get? All right. So also, also from bait is what's hot right now. It's called fig pins. I've heard of fig pins. So this fig pins is super hot right now. Fig pins will be at Designer Con. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Cool. With their own booth. They have their they own booth at Designer Con. It's a pretty yes, big do. pin. I don't know if you can see that in there, but there's three. Are we opening this or are we keeping it mint in package? Oh, 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 mint in package. We can okay, open this. Oh, uh, can. Uh, are you sure about that? I don't know. Are, are we going to keep this mint in its package or are we going to open it? We can open it. Are you, are oh. you, are, are you sure? Uh, we can oh. open it. Just don't rip the package. It, it is losing oh. its value. Oh, no. No. Oh, oh my God. Here, Jack. Put, put this air leaking am, out as we speak. I am just destroying this. So. So oh, what's yeah. cool about so. this, it's it's getting hot like last couple of months mm. that I feel like. Because yeah. a lot of pop collectors and resellers have contacted me and they're like, hey, can you get a hand on this? Can you do that? Can you do this? Uh, I went to Anime Expo and got my hands on, on their other one. So yeah. they had a, really? another version yeah, at you can totally Comic Con. So I, I just don't got my hands on this, this one as well. Yeah. Gotcha. So does this one have the... Comic so the big thing about the Comic Con stuff is it has to have the... San Diego Comic Con sticker on it, right? Because otherwise, it's like so. You do have the San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, they have that one, and they have the special fiftieth anniversary. That's edition. why we don't call anything a DKE an exclusive. We just say DKE releases, and we right. don't call them Comic Con exclusives because uh, the rules about Comic Con exclusives are um, first you have to get permission because it's their logo and it's their IP, and you're not yep, allowed right. to use it without their permission. But there's also rules about how you release things, and yep. because we have so little. Uh, quantity of stuff we start selling on Wednesday night until it's yeah. sold out. They, they ask you to hold. They stuff. ask you to hold yeah. stuff to have some every, every day. day. Oh, I see. Do you have a pair of scissors? Not to cut it. I just need to pull this up without damaging it. I need something flat to. Right. So the idea Caesar's. of Kevin's not nervous at all. I'm, I'm very nervous. Kevin's but, like, but well, here, so much for that. But here's the thing. So Stop. they've been around for a few years. Yeah. Uh, I've seen them at Bay. Bay usually have their collab collect, yeah. uh, collaborations. They brought them up. I feel like, 
But this year, somehow, it just got hot real quick. And the, those years from 2017, those ones are going for $500. Whoa. Wow. wow. Yeah, all of a sudden, a $20 pit. How much do these sell for? $20? $20. Oh, and yeah. we're, we were laughing when it first came out. $20 for a freaking pin. Well, it is three times the size of a normal pin. Like, it's yeah, not like pins, it's, it seems reasonable. It's not I a, mean, the dog is like taking it out the of the box. The packaging is like... What I like about this, as you've known if you've seen me on the show before, is I like things that you can put take in and out of the package without damaging mm -hmm. it. And, uh, but that, I mean, no one I would... I think it's supposed to be with the stand. Yeah. So you treat fig. it like a figure. Right, but no one would wear this, right? Like those posts, you, you just like, hey, Kevin, ah. you kill somebody. Well, it doesn't... It but didn't you, even come with a backer. It doesn't backer even have the backer. Yeah, so well, you, yeah, this is the backer. The, oh, yeah, you can wear that. Yeah, yeah I, I think really. you... Well, no one wears this. It'll just start pulling your shirt. Oh, my right. gosh, yeah. I, I think it's for a backpack or a hat yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. I think it's meant to just be a figure pin. That is a big pin. So I got so that. Nice. Um, 20 bucks. So how much is this on? Dragon Ball Z. I think 150 Whoa. Dude, you sell it, dude. You just opened a $150 pin. I'm going to put it back in mint condition exactly the way I found nope, it. Nope, it's got your paws all over yeah, it. Yeah, as that, a dub got prints. It. But dub prints. Uh, that makes it more But valuable. I also got something for myself, uh -huh. a original ink drawing from Soy Milk. Uh huh. Oh. The artist. Uh, yeah. So it was one hundred fifty dollars. Okay. And, uh, Do you have that here to show? I don't have it here. For well, sure, that yeah. fail, fail. But it's not a. Toy. So you didn't get any toys. You don't have any toys to show. I On did. Toy Geeks, you have no toys. I thought you have it. We have it here. Oh, All right. You know what? Let's let's talk about toys. You mean it's not? Well, we have overlap. Well, so let's talk about toys I got you. How about that? We can talk <laughs> about some of the toys that you got me. But first, let's talk about the toys that I got me. Okay. Um. So the first thing, let's actually talk about this guy. This was actually sold at the 3D Retro booth. Mm. Sold out. And it did sell out. This one is actually mine. Uh, this is Shishi from uh, Big Shot Toy Works. The uh, oh, you have one over there too. Look at that. Uh, that's probably Kevin's that you're look you're holding. But this is oh, the uh, Tiffany Blue Edition. They were selling for forty five dollars. Are you really and call it a Tiffany Blue Edition? Yeah, dude, you're hoping for a lawsuit, dude. I mean, it is the Blue Edition, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, well, it's sold out now. It's sold out. There you go. Yay. I mean, talk about a company that uh, thinks that they actually own a color. Do they, they own a color? No, of course not. Do they act like that? But they, 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 they call like it, it Tiffany Blue. Who does? Uh, everybody. Yeah. No? Yes, they do. Yes, they, they do. They do. And they... Uh, never mind. All right. So Love that's, is that's not a lawyer. He will not give you... <laughs> not no, he will not advice. give you legal advice. Uh, <laughs> then I stopped by Andrew Bell's booth. Uh, and <laughs> predictable. <laughs> and this was hilarious. This is something he told me that he made for the people at Google, mm -hmm. and it was in, in, intentionally like at first like kind of like a gift thing, and then he's they were so popular that he's like, oh, we got to make a few hundred more of these, and he brought them to San Diego. This is the dinosaur that you get when you have no uh. internet connection <laughs> yeah the game on your uh chrome browser let's see uh -huh. and so he made it into a figure and yeah. it's like this little box set and i thought that was hilarious so i'm like i gotta get one of these and like the little box also says like there's no internet connection and yeah, it has, it has all like the, the same things. message yeah exactly it's really cool so um then, some of the stuff that Kevin did help me get, uh, Hot Wheels was big. Hot Wheels. So, um, they debuted, I think this is a de debut, I don't think this is like an exclusive. Mouse Droid? No, this is an exclusive. Is it? All, not the, all the Hot Wheels are an exclusive for Comic-Con. But they're not going to make any more, you think, of the, of the Mouse Droid? No. Yes, they will. No, not in this packaging. As good as new. Not in that packaging, but they're going to make more of the mouse Different droids. Ones. Usually they don't. So they made the mouse droid, and then this one is so awesome. It's the um, 80th anniversary Batman Hot Wheels. It's the 1989 Open. Batman. Open it. Mm. Nope. There it goes. The oh. Open um, it. Where's the good as new? You can sell that shit, man. Except for the crack. <laughs> Except for the crack. Um, Nobody knows. Do you need help, Ben? I got it. Dove's an expert in opening things. He is. So, 
see, and I usually try not to push this too hard, not to like crease that too much. You know. So, oh my too gosh, late. yeah. So there's. You're welcome, Ben. So it's funny. Okay, so y you get the Batmobile with a little Batman in there, and then the thing is, you can. There's another tape here. I don't know. Hold on, hold on. There's there's some way you can. What is this like box within a oh, box right. within a box? Oh yeah. So what you do is you push up. And it replaces the car with the shield. Oh. <laughs> you get it? So you're meant to keep it in the box. Oh. You push it up, so, and then you push it front down again to show it off with and without shield. Fantastic. Can you see that? Oh. Isn't that great? We'll, we'll show close-ups of it. Yeah, but how with the action? It's pretty cool, huh? Very ingenious cardboard, I like it. cardboard right. usage. Well, yeah. I, I have a lot of friends that I've met over the years at Comic-Con. They're in line, so I've always asked them to help me get stuff. And know? then, luckily, Kevin asked me, like, hey, what do you want? And I'm like, I want this. Well, you're my boss. i got to ask you what you want. Well, thank you. <laughs> ah, you're my friend. Thank you, Kevin. Um, so oh, I visited Jason Edmiston. I don't want to know what that relationship's like. <laughs> what? Me no. visiting Jason Edmondson? No. Oh, okay. So, and he has he has these um, this collection called what? Like, I think they're called Faces or Eyes. So I bought two of them. Yeah. I oh. bought the Batman one, 1966 Batman, and the Kermit the Frog. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, those are he, a lot. He of has fun. it like every Comic Con thing, different ones. Oh, he's done so. He did a book. There's of a, these. There's a book of them. Yeah. So, Doug. Yes. Did you end up getting one of these? I did. Um, You're welcome. I so I mean, uh, I like them. Yeah, they're, they're pretty fun. It's pretty smart. So they cast each of one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 six. parts. Yep. In how many different colors? Six each? colors. Six colors. Six colors. And so if you do the math, six times six times six times six times six times six is like one in like a million variations, and they're all different. So apparently they're just popping all the pieces. You know, and then just right. and then someone's sitting there and just grabbing at, yeah. at mixed random parts Darth Vader, right? Mixed parts Darth Vader, and I mean, very you know reminiscent of something that someone sitting here sells from time to time. Um, I don't know. It's pretty cool. I mean, I who would that person be? Price point was good. What were they were like? Twelve ninety nine. Yeah, yeah with wow. thirteen dollar figure. That's a really good deal. It was good. <coughs> Entertainment Earth had them. They kept running out of them every day. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Uh, you didn't get one? I did eventually. This Entertainment Earth employee came by. I'm like, do you have more of that? And he's found one and nice. we traded. But okay. yeah, I just, the line was so long. Like yeah. everyone's in line to get Funko Pops and like, I want this figure. And I go look and. You should have told me. Could have got you one. Speaking of Dude, Funko. you were walking. I was like, oh, Kevin, no. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Stop paying attention to me. So speaking really? of Funko Pop, I am guilty. Those are pretty cool though. I got a couple of Funko nice Pop. Design. Um, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna bring all these out at the same time. Do we actually review Funko Pop on this? No, I'm just showing yeah, we do. what we I have. got. We have? Yeah. And we, we have. So these are some of the Funko Pop that I got. So Ben was in line at, at Entertainment Earth. <laughs> and then I also got this guy because I thought it was hilarious. Oh, that's cool. This I is wanted the, a Batman so bad. It was the uh, mascot. Damn it. When is this gonna end? Never. It doesn't end. It just keeps going, Dove. It's such a too late Tokyo exclusive. And then I thought yeah. that that was hilarious too because it's glow in the dark, and I love Treehouse of Horror. This and is great. Seasons. This is dope. So, I, I, what not, do you guys think? I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, I do not own. I mean, uh, this is the truth. I do not own a single Funko Pop. Uh huh. Uh, but I did buy the books that they put out. The books. Yeah, because there's about the five volumes of books because. As much as I don't care, seeing them all together in one place, yeah. just like design-wise, mm -hmm. is very interesting to me. Like, just the same pattern repeated over and over. Like, I don't want to own one, but if you put a book and you picture several hundred of them in there, mm -hmm. yeah. that appeals to me. And I'm sorry I said this, but I'm sorry. It's fine. <laughs> we forgive you. Uh, well, you also know that... It goes against um, everything I believe in, but... Well, they're also doing Pez. Oh, jeez. And one of the things that they released with the mascot Pop is the mascot Pez. Mm. Now, the thing that they had was they actually had a separate booth yeah. just for the San Diego Comic-Con 
items. And what was, it was, what was that line like? Uh, ridiculous. ridiculous. You yeah. actually had to have a reservation. They all had to reservation. Yeah, if you didn't have a reservation, you had to wait till four o'clock, and then you could stand in line. So, so the the trick is, Entertainment Earth did not have a reservation mm-hmm. for people. Funko did, so that's why the line at Entertainment Earth is longer this year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, I you know I've lobbied Ben before about Designer Con and make a rule and say that it is a no line convention. And then if you have more than 15 or 12 people in line, that you have to give out tickets and make it time. Because I feel like there's people who go into the show, they spend an hour in line, and really no one, if, if, if the vendor has just a half a brain in their head, you don't have to make people stand in line. And I think it hurts the show when a thousand people walk yeah. in the door and 900 of them are standing in line for an hour when they could be shopping everywhere and just say that's usually the case at decon like people walk around and i mean there's certain vendors that certain i i just think you should make a rule like if there's more than 12 people in line you have to give out a time ticket Hmm. like a pat like a time pass or something not even time pass just a ticket they put up a sign now helping you know numbers 50 through 100 and then you come back when do you think retailers will be okay with that yeah i think a lot of retailers will have trouble with that they some of them really like that long line well, <laughs> so a lot Every of the other stuff that I picked up were pins. Ah, you got pins too. I got pins too. So oh, I got a pin. Too. Madrid had my favorite pin of the entire show. Of course. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Yesterday's. Yesterday's had a Madrid pin of a skateboard that looked like a hoverboard. Nice. Um, Thinky. Do you want to see this? Had this awesome sure. dark crystal. We didn't really announce with these pin. Were, did we? Did you guys That's see this okay. one? Do we need to? I don't know. I mean, I'll tell you, like, at, at just at the DKE booth, if there's anything that looks Roth close Roth to a line, like, everyone is working double time to get people the hell out of there as soon yeah. as possible. Right. And if there's a, a retailer that has such an ego that they like a line and that they're taking their time and wasting shoppers' times, I know that if people are in line at the DKE booth, they want to be somewhere else. Right. You know, they know what they want. They want to get it to them as fast as possible. Well, no one likes standing in line. I mean, yes. But or very I mean, few what kind of asshole like likes to keep people in a line? I don't know. I think that's bullshit. <laughs> Lines are bullshit. Dark crystal pin? Anyone? Dark Let's crystal see. pin? Kevin. Shag pin? How much is a shag pin? Uh, I think they're fifteen or twenty. Huh. A little bit pin? more. Um. Uh, lactose Larry pin <laughs> <laughs> from Andrew Bell. Yeah, I like that one. And then um, why? I'm because I like parody and I like irreverent things that make fun of other popular things. There you go. And then I did pick <laughs> up. Yeah. Um, I picked up the entire set of these guys. This is from Pin and Patch Con. Pin and Patch Con, and it's Popeye's 90th anniversary, and they had these cool, like old school Can timey pass, like uh, Popeye pins. Kevin. So I picked these up as well. Kevin's acting like he's not here. These are hard enamel, and they're not. They're not. They're not. They're oh like no, they're the super cheap kind. They're like the enamel's just like oh, it's yeah. like the rubbery they're the vintage baked on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're they're vintagey. These are the ones that kind of turn yellow over time. Oh, sad. They have to look different though, which is cool. Um, well, that's the idea. How, they how much were to these? Them. $10. $10 each. I mean, it's Popeye. It's the 90th anniversary, so if you really want to go with a vintage pin feel, I guess Makes that, sense. that's yeah. the way to go. They also had some they have from... They uh, official SDCC 50 logo on They, they do. Look at that. What's the, the artist, the super emo friends? Mm-hmm. They had versions of Popeye pins from him as well, but I wanted... Jay these. Salvador? Yes. Then... I ran into Luke Chu, and these were being sold at the Monkey King booth. Ghost Bear. Ghost Bear. And uh, Luke was nice enough to give me one, Aww. even though I was going to buy one anyway. Kevin, pass it along. And <laughs> it's Ghost Bear. He doesn't stop to look at it. Do we need like a little separator Why or something? Why are you even on the show, Kevin? You're not you wanted to talk about his shoes? I want to talk about And then things. he's done. Things. Like what do you it. think about Ghost Bear? Ghost Bear's cool. I like him. Adorbs. So cute. Uh, what was it like thirty bucks? It was thirty bucks. I think, is that yeah. Safubi? Uh, it's soft vinyl, yes. Soft. So it's not vinyl. Safubi. No. So um, <laughs> it has to be made in Japan. Right. Yeah. So there were a lot of things also technically um, away from the con, like <gasps> offsite, like okay. uh, and there were two pop ups. One of them was uh, Pop Life. 
Mm -hmm. So oh, I thought we were getting more Golden Girls. <laughs> I could feel it in my bones. <laughs> so we have some uh, blind boxes to open up here, folks. Yeah, Pop Mine's Life had a pop up here. Get so on. this is I from passed. Ron English. It's called Delusionville Vinyl Mini Figures. Um, Which I did not get to go to that pop up because we don't have time. Oh, but um, okay. After we open these, Jack, I think you um, you went to there and you picked up some stuff, correct? Yeah, I have some stuff. Let's where where was the Pop Life? Uh, it was in a loft. Um, it was off loft of like J, J and Ten, right across from like Bar Basic. And was yes. it's the same thing last year from uh, last year. two years ago. Two years. Was it? Were there people there? Sure. Yeah. There some people. Yeah. There the Ron English focus. Ron 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 English toys. Yeah. When I say a lot, like a lot. Twenty five. Holy smokes. Mm. All right, so, whoa. I got an eagle. What'd you get? An eagle. eagle. You got scrap Oh, I got the scrap same thing. Scrap art. I have to give me the same thing as yours. Suds, suds, squirrel. I might have the same thing, too. They're called blind boxes. Scrap You don't know what you're going like to get. Oh, no, I don't. We got the same thing. But look, it's a squirrel with a beer. Er, er, Did you er. get the same thing? No. no. What'd you get? You got uh, the sheep. I got the sheep. But there's a whole other series of sheep, right? Yeah, there is. A whole oh, yeah. series of sheep. So I, I like of all of these things. I like these. You got the fala sheep. No, the fala the sheep they yeah, did, they made sheep. for um, that other series. What was that band? Remember? Oh yeah, it was a. But it was band. it's different. It's Wasn't not like the Pearl same. Jam it's different. Or something like yeah, that? but it's it's different from this one. So there you go, guys. Nice. Well, what I do like you think? Squirrel. <laughs> I like, squirrel. The squirrel. I like the turtle too, squirrel? which we didn't I get. I love squirrel? the. It's a vulture, right? Slow mo snapper. Yeah. I love the vulture mainly because it's like red, white, and blue. And I guess it's America. supposed to be. Why are you dumb. doing that? Why? What? Dumb. Why? There's no me over there. Oh. Wait, but there's another. Ah, oh, oh, right oh. on point. Oh, dove. Why you gotta hate dove? Why Sorry. you gotta hate. Articulated. Um, it is not articulated. Yeah, it is. That's I'm, you're gonna break it. No, the hands move. No, I think on it's that articulated. One. This one, the hands, the nothing moves on this one. It's articulated. And See, does it stand? It doesn't very stand. It stands. Really. No. Remember yeah, this. Articulated. Remember this, David. Dub was wrong. It doesn't happen very often. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is, yeah. Was that a go, backhanded go. compliment? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that yeah, was. They have Grinny and Ronnie the Rabbit. I need the yeah. grin. Did you know that almost all these characters have their own songs that Ron what? wrote? Yeah. And his band, The Rabbits, performs. Yeah. Perform. What? Yeah. True so story. What's he, what's he doing here? Is he like trying to show his ass? Like, what's I going on? <laughs> Listen to his song. And maybe well, when we, ma we made, you know, 3D Retro produce Trunk, the Orange Elephant, mm -hmm. and there's a whole song for there Trunk, is, the Orange yeah. Elephant. So yeah. every character he makes, there's a song. Yeah. Or at least most of them, yeah. Wow. So, Jack, what did you get? What did you get from this pop up? From yeah. this pop-up? Yeah. Well, that's kind of... So which one do you want to start with? Whatever uh, you want. Whatever you want, man. Oh, what do you got? It, it's your pop-up. It was mostly I mean. a Ron English pop-up. It had a few other things from Top Life. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oops. What was that? Oh, you got a Ronnie the Rabbit? Yeah, I got a Ronnie the Rabbit. Nice. Which is pretty cool. It's a continuation. Who was the company that made the, the rabbit rabbits. figure before, Doug? Dark Horse. And yeah. those, I remember the painted ones were okay, mm -hmm. but the glow in the dark ones. The glow in the dark was our exclusive, and they just, like after five minutes, just went. But the other thing really? that I remember yeah. was, however they produced it, Let the legs. Oh, that looks awesome! The legs must have been produced in a different batch of vinyl. Because the legs were a different glow-in-the-dark blue mm. than the rest of the figure. Right. They, there was, um, I think the top was vinyl and the feet were injection. Oh. To, so that it would stay. And so if you're injection, it's just a different mix. Mm. Yeah. Uh, this is cute. Um, I like it. But also just the whole design of the two feet like that, yeah. It was just and like then the post of you know the two feet together, and then the feet would just bend right here and just do, and then. But Dark Horse made it up to us. They were really good about it. Yeah. They felt bad. 
That's look cute. At that. That's cool. How much that is that? That is a cool it's figure. Or maybe just tire So, I mean, it's nice. It, this I, is about $100, I think. And this is all uh, Pop Life stuff? Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, most Pop Life stuff is not available in the United States. Um, Unless you come shop at 3D Retro. <laughs> It's like, is there anyone else who carries it in the United States? They will be having an online store shortly. Will they? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. How many years has it been? Like, it's been a little while. I like the carrot a lot. The carrot's cool, right? Yeah. I like the whole thing. I like the rabbit with the carrot. It's nice. All right. What else? What else did it you get? It has a nice vinyl. I need, odor I need one. Next. Next. I don't. Hopefully, I think we. I think we got the, these two. Next. Um. So dope. Do this. So mm -hmm. do you sell a lot of Pop Life stuff because you're if the you only one selling? There, we just uh, got what's at the Pop Life. That typically has some too. Yeah, yeah. usually. Whoa, what is that? This is Zin Chen, Kinokola. He's a Malaysian artist. Do you actually buy this stuff or do they come here? That is uh, industry secret stuff. Sorry. I mean, if I was a toy manufacturer, I would comp Jack. Oh. If you know what's good for you, you hand stuff. If to you know what's press. good for you. If you, you know, you hand stuff to press for free. Like, it happens. You Holy want, moly. You want I should get, we should get that figure. I mean, technically, score. you know, this is press. Like, mm -hmm. you should get free toys. We should get free stuff. Please send, send your free toys. It's actually not sitting right. I'll let Doug fix that. Oh, jeez. Or not. This is uh, creepy. What? That's what awesome. This? this is supposed to go more like that around his chin. No, no, no. It doesn't really fit over like that. What does it do? Yeah, you're supposed to like it's the other way, but the the strap goes she under the chin. chin. Yeah, yeah. There you uh, go. Oh yay! Okay, everybody, then, ready? Kina Cole. And so this is his like this is Zin Chin's uh, oh, like, primary see. characters. These little sort of imp devil children. Hmm. But they love Coca Cola. Apparently, it's nice. kind of a little tricky. Soda pop, it says. I actually like this figure a lot. Do you guys have this one in the store? No, uh, we picked up we picked up the Ron English figures. Nice. We didn't pick up the other the artist Sephardi. ones. Yeah, but we'll contact maybe them and, and get some more. That's cool. How much did this one cost? I think this is a hundred dollars. Hundred bucks too. I think that was the price point for a lot of these figures. Were like a hundred bucks it a is. piece. Most that's of their like eight-inch figures is about hundred dollars. Which I think that's, that's a lot what of they're, money. they're. Well, they're thri they're striving for the one hundred dollar price point. Yeah, which I think is because fun. usually Pop Life figures cost a lot more. Really? And so yeah, uh, usually it's like a hundred fifty, two hundred dollars. I mean, they still have like the Liberty Grin, which I think is like a three hundred fifty dollar toy. It is. But um, it's that's a huge toy. It's, it's still huge. really expensive. Yeah. How many of these do they make? Are they not limited? I don't know. Yeah, uh, they're limited runs for sure. For sure, thousand. I would think. Does it say on the box? No. I like it. Thousand pieces. What's next, Jack? I mean, they're not making like twenty thousand. What else did you get, Jack? But they could certainly make more if they wanted to. Uh, well. Well, maybe we different colors. Some of this stuff. Oh, I could, we could do this, but it's gonna take forever to open. Let's do it. Let's do this. That's going to take forever. To open. <coughs> oh. What is that? So I think this is the one thing that they announced which sure. got the most attention. Oh, Probably. yeah. Sure. yeah I, had, um, I had to go buy this for somebody. So while you're opening that, did you also oh, guys I see... Dub's got the technique. The you thing just let that gravity do it. Did you guys see the announcement about Futura so and what Funko? Hap what happens is yes. as soon as you start pulling... Uh, you upset the balance. So if you just uh, hold it there, it just gravity would just. Did you hear the announcement of Futura and Funko Dove? <laughs> what a travesty! I don't. Wait, want, I don't want to hear about it. Well, why? Why do you think it's a travesty? Star Wars. What? Yeah, it's a, like yeah. a. It's a whole collection thing. Gotta do the base. Gotta do the base. I. All our base <laughs> belong to us. So it's. Did you just say that it's? Uh, a Futura Star Wars pop? Is yeah, that what you pop. just said? Yeah, yes. Boba Fett. Boba I will Fett. still not buy it. Oh. <laughs> but it's Star Wars, Star Wars. And Futura. Yeah, yeah but it's that third thing that... It's a pop. Oh. That's it's really not, cool. It's not that I hate pops. I hate the, the frenzy and so the, the lack of discerning so taste. This is Johnny. Johnny! Here's Johnny. 
And it does come with the base. It's got the Here, give me the bags. kudos and king. Let's move but that out of the it way. It does stand fairly well without the base. Oh, that's cool. Why do they need a base? I think because just they just were in case that the arms will be offset a little, and they are a little bit, so it doesn't sit perfectly even unless you put it on the base in terms of like level. Oh, okay. The box is pretty cool too. It's a really nice toy. And I mean, I have to say, he's gonna like this because he's in the studio audience. That. Uh, you know, when the name came out, Johnny is like, well, what's up with that? And he's like, a certain somebody, Kano, said, and he turned out to be absolutely right, said, oh, well, Futura is a big Kubrick fan, and maybe it's a reference to The Shining, and it is. Oh. So that's pretty cool. It's got kind of a Kano maniacal, spitting out knowledge. That's his boy right there. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. I think that was one of the Is it worth $150? Yeah, yes. Yeah, probably. What I don't like is, I mean, with vinyl and it, its shrinkage, it's hard to get, like, really smooth, nice, like, geometrical shapes. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of just see the bumps in it. Yeah. Which yeah. is unfortunate. It's still a beautiful piece. It's awesome. But it's smart about the arms because, as we know with Futura toys, they have little arms and they... Pointy <laughs> arms. <laughs> I think this was, in terms of like the designer toys, this was probably one of the most sought after for this con. It's good. good yeah, so this was available both at the MindStyle booth at Comic Con and at the pop up. Pop up. Yeah. So the other the other pop up that was going on at the same time was Super Seven. Mm. Super Seven had a pop up um, at their store. So I don't know if it's really a pop up. It's more like they just redid their store. Well, yeah, it's they a do pop that every up. year. Huh. It's a pop up. It's a pop up, up in the sense that it goes up, pops up, and pops down. They had two uh, pop ups. They, they had like a weird no, pop up. The they they had the the boo boo thing, the the yeah, monsters the, the thing, and then Great they had thing. the peanuts what thing? thing. What thing? The thing. The oh, big the yellow big thing yellow over thing. there. The thing. My favorite toy from Comic Con. There you That's go. Ben's favorite toy from. I love this thing. I'm sorry. I don't care what anyone says. That's the biggest vinyl toy. It was one of the biggest vinyl yeah, toys. In 50 years, it's going to be like a puddle of oil. But still, so are all of these. Oh, oh sorry. Man. Did I say that? Oh no! Yay! Peanuts. Yeah. So from Peanuts and Super Seven. So um, I was talking to Brian about it, and he said this would be life size if the original 50s Snoopy was real. But if it really? was if it was like the seventies, eighties Snoopy, he would be much bigger. Really? Mm. So this is a life size toy. Yeah, because you know, Snoopy like flies a plane and he takes up almost the entire doghouse, you know, like he's pretty big. But the fifties Snoopy is a little uh, dog. Ah, uh, that's so great. Do they have any left? Um I think they said oh, that man. they <laughs> saved a couple <laughs> in their warehouse. Let <laughs> me <laughs> <Is he? laughs> Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, call OSHA or somebody. So this is three hundred, huh? Um, something like that. That might be right. Yeah. To, uh, no, one ninety-five. Oh, that that okay. was the cost of it. <laughs> so this actually comes. So here's here's uh, here's Don't an interesting breathe, story. Though. The <laughs> the person that designed this yeah. was a designer for the actual Peanuts company, uh -huh. oh, and now nice. she works. For Super Seven, uh -huh. so mm. when it came down to designing something really different, she was like, "Well, there's this old comic strip where Snoopy comes to Charlie Brown wearing a Charlie Brown mask." Oh, all right. Because I guess earlier in the strip, it was like one of the Halloween things where Charlie Brown is like dressed up as a dog. It's probably what's on the box, right? There's I mean, a strip I'm a Peanuts box. fan, but really like the '50s Peanuts, the look and the aesthetic of the '50s. Peanuts is my favorite. The only company that I've seen do the 50s um, Peanuts figures, aside from the ones that you could have actually bought in the 60s and 50s, is Metacom. Metacom redid all the classic vinyls. And Dark Horse. Dark Did Dark Horse do that? Those, You know those classic comic characters that came in those tins with the button? Mm. Yeah, that but were they vinyl? No, they were like wood. Yeah. yeah. See, the vinyl ones were reproduced by Metacom in like the same size mm. that they were originally made back in the 50s. Nice. So this, I mean, this is great. Super 7 did such a great job with this. And I like the cloth. Yeah, the, the, the like. I like the articulated ears. 
It's so good. And honestly, for one ninety five. Is this is one ninety five. Yeah, man. Yeah, I need to get one. It is a great, great price. I didn't make it out to the pop. Oh. And I hope Brian is watching and he does an exclusive version of this for Decon, because I would love to have one of these exclusively at the that? Super Seven mm -hmm. booth at Decon. Glow in the dark or something. Now they are making um, smaller. Can you say that louder. Glow in the dark. What? I don't know. What are you going to do? Wondering what the exclusive would be. It's not like he can be in all sorts of weird colors. No, I, think they, I know what it should be. It should be a Ben mask. <laughs> oh, no. No, no one would no buy, one that. buy that. <coughs> Maybe a different shirt. Maybe a different... I don't, I'm, different I'm sure shirt. they can think of something, but... Um, what I was going to say is they also had the... Were they three inch or four inch figures, though? Do you mm -hmm. know? There were six... No, seven different... There were six figures and then a, a seventh Charlie Brown with the... You know, with the comic strip on the card, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and those were like three, those are three, really nice. three and three quarter or four inch figures. Those yeah, are actually going to be readily available to all retailers. So if you really didn't cool. get it at Comic Con, don't worry. Yeah, uh, the really one like that those. is harder to get is this guy right here because they did make a limited run of these, and the price point was higher. So, so it I is like a collectible. I think figure. it's a really nice toy. So two hundred is worth it. Totally. The worth only it. thing is in. Uh, you know, it's cool that they're following the comic strip, but honestly, when the mask is on him, he looks kind of creepy. I love it. Because he looks like Charlie Brown. Okay. Yeah, sort of. Like a but weird they, dog Charlie Brown. But they've sewn the, the clothes, the soft goods, like, onto him. So yeah. So he can't take it he off. He can't take it off. He can't take it off. So... My only gripe with that, and I, I actually got one of these, is that wow. if, if you leave it on your shelf for years and years, mm. eventually... The dust is going to get you. You probably have to regularly take an air gun, an uh, air can of air, and like tss, 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 yeah, but you, to you keep know, it like dust free. You know, us collectors, we don't leave it on the shelf though. We put it in a glass case and where it's like dust resistant to a, a certain point, and you know, it's like. Or well, we put it in an airtight plexi box or something <laughs> like that. That's you know? just you, that's, man. That's Ben. Well, that's me. So. So. Airtight plexi box. Airtight plexi. I mean, it's probably so custom sized uh, for just this toy. Ta da! It's very nice. It is very nice. Anything else, guys? Good job, Super 7. Um, Did you get anything else, Jack? Or I have more. Do we want to do more? I only we have can do like maybe. They're uh, waiting. Maybe like maybe one more. Okay, do we can do one more, yes. For it. Is it an in? elephant or a butterfly? Why it's can't it be both? Oh. I'll let you do the box. So, this is another Ron English one. Yes. From the pop-up. Now, okay, so here's the Did thing. Did you buy this one too? Yes. <laughs> now, <laughs> asterisk. So here's the thing. Take a look at the elephant. Okay. <laughs> on the, the little ones. The little elephant butterfly, the little ones on the box. Okay, yeah. I it's wish like they elephant. had made the elephant like that. Right, like a more realistic elephant. Yeah. Okay. I'm not complaining about this. I love okay. it. I still so think you would have liked great. it to have like the tusks and everything. Yeah, I would have liked it to be more like a real elephant, but okay. I understand the cute factor. Yep. Which is why they're going for this, and it's still a great figure. I just wish, like, I would have enjoyed that one more. But hard. I can, I can see why why they did this. Yeah, it's cute. I like it. It's cute. It's, it's very cool. cute. It's it's definitely a cute factor. Elefunko. Good job, Ron English. I think Elefunko has a song, too. I'm not 100% sure Jesus. on that. So there it is. All right, so there we are. All right, guys. Well, our that's, Comic -Con that's kind of our Comic-Con wrap. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of stuff mm -hmm. already. It's, it you is. know, it's all good. Anything you guys want to add about uh, Comic-Con or uh, the stuff that we picked up or the other stuff that was there? Yeah, you know, one no. thing that I thought was... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I thought was kind of interesting is um, sort of I guess as part of the designer toy area moving to the center the Warner Brothers booth got a little bit bigger right. and what was interesting about that well, is well they combined with they the DC booth they incorporated right the yeah. DC booth but in that move what they really did whether it was intentional or not is they really sort of neutered the DC collectibles display last year they had a really huge display and now they had like one tiny Maybe two display cases at the back of the booth, so well, you can't see anything. I didn't even notice. Yeah, you could right. barely it was see really that display. Really, all about like DC, you know, entertainment properties and their movies and TV. So I do you think a lot of the focus was because, like, look, it's we're just going to concentrate on Batman and that's it? 
Maybe, but... I, I mean, is anything else doing well for them? <laughs> Sorry. So Shazam! Wonder Woman? <laughs> Damn, Dove. Wonder Woman? I'm just... Sh Shazam. I'm just saying well. they're trying really hard to be Marvel, and they're just blowing it. Well, Shazam did okay. I like the movie. I you know, There's been some movies in there that have been all right. I'm yeah. just saying, like, as on a, a whole... whole yeah. Uh, the whole Marvel, the MCU universe has been. I've looked forward more forward to those movies than like Star Wars movies. Whoop! Out. Wow! Really? Yeah. yeah. You like, heard it here first. You. Alien. I just don't like. Games. You know what? And with that, I think we should end it right, <laughs> right there on the fact that Dove loves Marvel more than Star Wars. You heard it here first. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for joining us for another episode. Uh, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Um, and um, we will see you guys no. next week. See ya. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>